Today we're going to ink some comics. I don't consider myself a very good inker. In all reality, I feel like it's a weak spot for me artistically. I've spent a lot of time writing and drawing with pencil, but not nearly as much time inking. So I don't feel qualified to give you a how to ink, but I have made a lot of mistakes, so I can tell you what not to do. Inking can be quite intimidating for an amateur artist because there's no erasing, and that's probably the most obvious aspect of it. If you're like me and produce black and white comics, it's also quite binary. When I first started inking, I didn't really think much about it. I just figured, trace your pencils, trust your pencils, you know? But there's a lot more to it than that. I was obsessed with the uh, flowy brushwork of somebody like Paul Pope, so um, naturally I gravitated towards brushes when I first started. And I'll be honest with you, brushes are probably the most delicate tool when it comes to inking. Um, if you've never inked before, I highly recommend just using some Micron pens um, and when you get more control, maybe moving on to some nibs. You definitely want to work with something you're familiar with from the get-go. Whatever gives you the most amount of control is probably the best tool to use. Of course, you do always want to have room for experimentation and try different things, but if you're just starting out, the best thing you can do for your art and your self-esteem is use something that's comfortable and familiar. One of the biggest mistakes when I first started inking was expecting that my inks were going to come out as crispy and cool looking as my pencils, which is rarely the case when you're first getting started. The second and probably biggest mistake that I made was making excuses. When something didn't come out right, I wouldn't say, man, I suck and I need to improve or analyze it. I used to just say that was my style. And that's probably one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Because when you accept subpar work as part of your style, you're really kneecapping yourself and not allowing yourself to grow. When it comes to technical advice, I don't have much to give, but I can tell you this. Master one stroke. When feathering, I tend to work best doing a downward or upward stroke. So if you know this, don't do horizontal strokes. Instead, tilt your paper around to best fit what your hand's natural motion is inclined to do. What matters most is the end result. If you dig these videos and want to support this channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the notifications below. Share these videos and check out our new Threadless store where you can purchase t-shirts and phone cases and stickers with my artwork on it. Right on. Now go make some comics.